set temperatures and timers. You're going to want to set your siren sheet into the mold uh, and evenly distribute it. Generally, the best thing you're going to want is so that it just fits perfectly um, and you don't really have to like make it fit so that it falls through. Um, so once that's set uh, and all your stuff is set up on the machine, all you got to do is uh, you're going to first press both start uh, buttons simultaneously to clamp it down. You're going to see all of those clamp down. Uh, make sure that's secure in there. And then after that, you're going to hold the start button simultaneously one more time for uh, three seconds to send it into the oven. And then you're pretty much good to go. It's going to sit in there for the time that you set for it to uh, sit in the oven and heat up. And then it's going to come out on its own here. You'll bring the mold surface up and pressure it uh, to shape your part. Here in particular, we have a uh, ice cube tray, which is common to be made in the 216 lab for this procedure. And uh, it'll release from the mold after a set time. So we have approximately 20 seconds. Clamps will open up. Take your styrene sheet out. And then we got a beautifully pressed ice cube tray. You'll then go back out with your pliers and cut that out, and you've got your finished part. Run that as many times as you need. Finally, once all of your parts have been made to your desired amount, and uh, you don't need to make any more, you're basically going to go back to the main menu here on the main screen, and then you're going to come over to the left side of the machine. And just like you started to power on the machine, you're going to want to just push it in a little bit and turn it to the left. That'll turn all the settings of the machine off. The display will be off and the oven will slowly cool down and uh, you'll be good to go.